I'm not 100% sure, but he's lying next to a baby zebra killed. Actually looks like they've killed two zebras here um, from what we can see. So let's have a look at the beautiful big Birmingham boy. And uh, one of the Inkahuma lionesses is lying behind us, but you can't really see her. She's quite flat in the grass, but there he is. It looks to be Tinior, the tooth. Um, He's a big, beautiful boy. Now, there are quite a few vehicles that are interested in this sighting, so we can't spend too long here. But we will enjoy it while we can. Oh, big, happy, fat cat. Now, a big male lion's two, two biggest interests in life. One is food, and two is procreating. So, and he's got both, because they are definitely... Mating, mating pair uh, mating at the moment but normally they don't really feed while they're mating but as we know they are opportunists so if any particular prey comes upon them they will definitely take advantage now i'm just looking around in the grass here there is blood everywhere it's almost like a massacre scene so i mean there's blood in the grass next to us here and of course around where the lion is there's a lot of blood you have a look here Ferg you can actually see lots of blood on the little um, on the grass and on the uh, little monkey orange so it looks like they made two kills here uh, from what we can see because one zebra is completely gone and uh, the other is almost completely intact just. So, if we have a look to the left of the beautiful big Birmingham boy, you will see that there is a zebra, almost completely intact zebra carcass just there. And uh, it looks like a, a sub-adult, so not an adult. So let's go have a look. You can just see they've barely fed on it. And you just see a bit of the ribs sticking out. So, if they've already eaten another whole zebra, what they will do is uh, go for the 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 high mineral content uh, pieces, heart, liver, lungs, uh, kidneys. So that's what they've eaten there. But I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be moving much today. One zebra down, another one to go. Okay, so as I said, there's quite a lot of vehicles who are um, trying to get in here. So we are going to have to uh, make some space uh, in a few moments, but we'll, and I don't think the lions are going to, to, to do too much now with the full bellies. I think they're going to snooze. We'll just have one quick look at the lioness and then uh, we will give someone else a chance. As I said, that the sighting of her isn't, isn't too great. She's completely flat behind Ferg there. And you can actually see how big her belly is. So there we go. We're moving around and then we're going to give the other cars a chance to come in here. As I said, there's, there's quite a lot of people on their way here this morning. Now, a lot of people think that this could be Mfumo. As I said, I I can't really see and uh, from where I'm sitting. And I, I think if it's the same one that was with Byron is with yesterday. I, I, I actually didn't see which one it is. So I'll take your word for it, but I can't see that scar on his face. So I don't think it's, I'm not sure, to be honest. It is one of the Birmingham boys, that I'm sure of. Okay, so we're gonna, there we go. You can see him in the zebra, and I'm pretty sure he'll be there this afternoon. So we will definitely come back. Uh, but for now, we're going to give someone else a chance. <laughs> 